Hey Crafty Fam, it's Alex Vanover back with DIY Alex and I am so excited because in this video I'm going to show you my Target Dollar Spot haul that I got last week for um, from their fall section and I'm going to show you some home decor and some things I'm going to make for my fall decor. So I'm super, super excited to be here with you guys. So if you're joining me, let me know where you're um where you're watching from and if you can hear me okay and see me okay. And in the meantime, I'm gonna share this live on Facebook so that a few of our friends can join us. What's going on? Hope you guys are well. I'm super excited to show you guys this decor. Sometimes when I go to the Target Dollar Spot, I'm gonna be honest, it's not all that exciting. I'm not thrilled about what I find, but this time you guys, I walked in and I was like a little out of control. I don't know about you guys, but I just have a soft spot for Target. Um, that's my favorite place to get like, I don't know, like dollary stuff. I like the Dollar Tree and I like to get a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree, but I think that Target Dollar Spot does a better job of being more like on trend um, with some of the things they carry. So I love to go in there and find cute stuff, especially for fall, because like everybody else, I love to decorate my house for fall because fall crafting is the best. So um, let me know if you're that way and if you love to decorate your house for fall. And um, if you're just now joining me, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Let me know where you're joining me from and if you can hear me okay and see me okay. I'm going to share this around to a few of our friends so they can join us too because I think this is going to be super fun. We're going to have fun looking at some fall stuff. I have my wine with me even though it is only Wednesday. It's already been a long week. Oh my corksicle is shiny but you can't really see it. Do you see it? It kind of looks like the Tacket Method. Before the Tacket Method was a thing, I had this corksicle. But you guys, I'm committing a crime because there's no decal on it. Ugh. I feel like a bad crafter when I use this cup because there's no decal on it yet. But before I knew how to um, do the Tacket Method, I just really liked the sparkle. Because I promise, it's a lot more sparkly in person. I don't know why my phone doesn't pick that up, but it really is. I'm super excited, you guys. The th the little piece that I made, the thumbnail, is my favorite piece of the whole thing. So I'm going to be impatient and spoil it right now. Look how cute this is. Look how adorable this cute little truck is. This little ceramic guy was $3. Uh, this was the first thing I saw. And I was like, okay, this is going to be a good Target dollar spot haul. Because... He's freaking adorable. This is a super cute design anyway. Everybody is doing like the vintage truck thing. It was really big last year and I walked into Target, saw this on a shelf. It was the only one. So I picked it right up before I even got a cart. I picked it up and I knew. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. Ain't bad for my credit card, but so good. I'm so excited. I'm super, super excited because fall crafting is the best. Posting in the 651 vinyl group. And boom, we are done. So, you guys, before we get started with our haul, well, hmm, I have to cut one more piece for the decoration portion of our evening. But maybe we should do the haul first because I don't want you guys to wait too long to see the stuff. So, let's show you some things and, in the, and then I will... Um, I will eventually cut the um, last piece that I need for my last piece of decor. So, okay, where to start? Um, let's start over here with some of the Halloween stuff. So I got a mix of fall and Halloween both. Um, I'm not a huge like Halloween decorator. I'm more of a fall decorator, but I like to put some stuff out closer to Halloween. Um, so I got a little bit of both. So we'll start with some of that stuff. Well, here's the first big thing. Then I can get this out of the way. Sorry if that's really loud. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me. If you're just now joining me, we are, um, Corinne says, Halloween is the best. You have so much Halloween. I love that. When I want to, like, 
I want to do more creative stuff with Halloween. I feel like it always sneaks up on me and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I have to have a costume and everything. So I need to like spend some time thinking about it. But Target made it so easy with some of these cute things that I'm just going to put in my house. They're already so cute. Hey, Tammy, thanks for joining me. Yeah, so if you're just now joining me, let me know where you're joining me from. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay and see me okay. And I'm super pumped to show you guys this cute stuff. So first I picked up this galvanized bucket because I thought it was super cute and if you guys are Tennessee fans you know it is Tennessee orange buddy. It's like this light pastel orange that if you are an Alabama fan you probably hate but I really like it so I picked it up but look what's on the other side. I literally don't have to do anything. Oh good Tammy said she can hear and see me fine. Good deal. So this has a little cutout in it and it says trick or treat. So how fun is that? Hi, Chow. She's joining us from, or he or she, I'm not sure, from California. Thanks for joining me. So look how fun this is. Eleanor is from Canada. You just put your first Cricut Fall sign up the other day. Oh, that's so fun. Congratulations. That's always an exciting time of year. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Corinne says she, I should try to do one side for Thanksgiving. So I thought about that because I'm totally going to repurpose this. But I also thought um, for my mother-in-law's sake, okay, sorry, Chow, you're a, a female. I'm with you. My name, Alex, seriously gets confused all the time. People call me Mr. all the time. So I feel your pain. So I was thinking about putting a power tee on this um, because it's the perfect color. But also like a Thanksgiving design would be cute because guys, I have a confession. I'm literally the worst at Thanksgiving. I do not hardly do anything. I have like a cute little turkey, maybe a scarecrow um, in my stash of stuff. And that's literally it. Like I'm terrible about Thanksgiving. So I totally want to use this. I have some really cute ideas for my porch um, because I actually have an actual porch this year. So I'm super excited to decorate with this guy. I thought about like putting some flowers in it and just turning it around until Halloween. There's lots of fun stuff that you can do with that. Let's look at some more Halloween. Okay, these little guys were some of my favorites also for Halloween because I thought they were so neat. So these were a dollar each and they are these fun little, oh, Tammy says Hobby Lobby has cute turkeys. That's awesome, I'll have to check some more out because I gotta do better. I gotta do better at Halloween. So these little tombstones were a dollar each and they say like cute little things on them. So this one says creep e crawly. Oh, and I have a mantle in my new house. <laughs> you love the grin says, aren't they cute? And they're just like a little dollar. This one's hilarious. It says for rent, which I thought was hysterical. I think I got the third one. I tried to get stuff that I could like put out together. That's like really easy, doesn't take much. And I will warn you, not all of this stuff is DIY. As you've already seen, a lot of this stuff is just cute that I'm just gonna put out in my house. So if you're not a cricketer, if you're just joining me just because you like fall decor, that's totally fine because a lot of these things can just go out in your house and be super, super cute. Oh, your Target didn't have any of this cute stuff, Corinne. Well, you gotta visit another one. Yes, or come here. And this is the one right by work. I didn't even scour several Targets for this. And this one's cute. It says, let me rest in pieces. Um, so super fun, super funny. I love a little bit of Halloween humor. So other than our bucket, we started with these three. Chow has seen stuff post from the dollar store, from the new craft item. Yes, I saw in some places that um, the Dollar Tree has created like an actual craft aisle, which is amazing. I need to get a better one. Yes, Corinne, another 651 vinyl weekend does totally need to happen. We still have so much to do, so much to catch up on. But in the meantime, I'm just going to get creepy with my little cute, my little tombstones. How cute are these? And these were a dollar each. Oh, and I don't know how much my bucket was. Let me tell you that. My bucket was $5, but that's fair because this is a really big bucket. Like this can hold a lot. So I'm going to put my little... I'm gonna try to keep my, tail, my table cleared off because I'm gonna do some DIYs here in a few minutes. We're gonna DIY a couple of things I bought. Oh, look how fun this little wire bolt is, this cute little spider web bolt. I thought this was super cute and simple just to sit somewhere with like some sparkly pumpkins in it. Um, you know, just something really, really simple. I'm a big fan. And this guy was $3, so super fun. All right. Okay, so let's move to some other stuff. It does need a big spider. I know, I need to, yeah, that's a good idea. 
Oh, you know what I could do? You, I could like blow up a balloon and um, I think people cover it with Mod Podge maybe. And then they do like the yarn or the string around it. And then they let it dry and pop the balloon. You know what I'm talking about? And maybe create like a big spider body. Ooh, Tammy, now you got my wheels turning. <laughs> this is going to take forever because you guys are going to give me amazing ideas. But I love that. This is another one. I've already had this out on my mantle. It says fall, family, and football. I thought this was also just really cute and fun to put out in your house. We are huge football fans here in my house. We are UT, University of Tennessee football fans, even though they're kind of bad sometimes. It's okay. Because I'm also from Cincinnati, so I'm also a Cincinnati fan. So that typically means that during football season, I live with a lot of disappointment. And that's okay, because I already know that. But at least I can rewear my orange. Hey, Michelle. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. We just have gone through a few things. This is one of the signs that I got. Um, yeah, Corinne, you probably do feel me. Are you a Browns fan? I bet you are because yeah, you feel me. You feel, you feel it in your soul. You just lose in football season a lot, but it's okay because we still love our teams. But this is a pre-made sign. And then I've gone through a galvanized bucket and three little cute, um, like gravestone things that were a dollar a piece. So super cute. And this one was only $3. So I thought totally worth it. And also before we continue through this, I want to tell you guys my stance on DIYing things. Have you guys ever heard the quote, why buy it for $7 when I can make it for 60? Well, you all know that if you're crafters, that is so true because we DIY all the things, even though sometimes it's cheaper to buy. So my advice to you is that seriously, if you come across stuff like this for $3, yeah, you could totally make that out of some scrap wood, but like, look how many colors that is. For $3, that is 100% worth your time to buy. So if you can buy it, buy it, okay? Just, just trust me, just buy it. But DIY and make stuff unique as you need to. Okay, so you feel me? Tammy's with me. Like sometimes we just like, I love that we're so creative, but we seriously waste a lot of money. <laughs> so try to be smart about the things that you invest in and the things that you decide you're gonna make yourself. If you see something at Hobby Lobby that's $25 and it's like a wooden sign or like, let's say like a wooden tray, you can buy a $10 tray at, at Walmart and you can paint it with chalk paint and make it something cute. That's different. But if it's like $5, $3, and it's gonna take you like more than an hour of your time, that would be like you making $3 an hour. So let's be real, just buy it. Okay, just buy it. So I see some new friends have joined us. So welcome, welcome. Let me know where you're watching me from. So this was super cool. Um, I have not seen this trend until I went to Target, but these little white houses were everywhere. There were little metal ones. This is a ceramic one and it actually has a little light in it. Oh, of course, and it's not gonna turn on. There we go. So it has a little like pre-lit LED light in it. I had this on my mantle. So it's super cute and just really simple. And I kind of thought that when this, when this one runs out because it's a cheap little battery, I'm definitely gonna try to put something else inside it like a little battery LED light that's really tiny and try to continue to light it up. Cause I really like that it lights, it lights up my mantle next to a candle and it's super cute. Yes, Tammy, I agree. And you can totally use this for Christmas too. So I also love decor. I'm definitely like a lazy decorator. I love to decorate, but I also love to reuse things for multiple holidays. So I like where your brain's going. And this was only $3. So super reasonable for a little lit up piece of decor. Oh, and by the way, if you don't already, make sure that you are on my Facebook page and my Instagram because I'm gonna post some of these things around my house um, later on. I've decided that I'm gonna do more lives with you guys because I miss you and I wanna hang out with you more often. So we're gonna be doing more lives, but obviously that means I can't show you some of these things around my house like already decorated. So my Instagram and my Facebook like name is D. DIY Alex Vanover because DIY Alex was taken on some platforms. So it's DIY Alex Vanover and Vanover is V-A-N-O-V-E-R. That's on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you want to look me up, follow me there because I'm going to post some of this really cute stuff around my house on social media. So I showed you guys this right in the beginning. So if you were here right away, I showed you this, but this is like maybe my favorite piece of the entire, um, of my entire haul. This was the first thing I saw when I walked into Target and I was like, okay, like this is gonna be a good day for me, bad day for my credit card. And I was right, this is what happened. Look how cute this is. 
Oh my God, this is perfect. It's so cute. These tr these little trucks with like stuff in the back are so trendy and so cute. And this little guy was $3. So I picked this up first thing, like literally before I had a cart. Cause sometimes I go into the dollar spot. Dang it. Diana says, why can't you see the live? It's saying an error has occurred. I don't know, Diana, because you were able to comment. So that's odd. I don't know why. Oh, you're right, Tammy. See, you're going to get me started, aren't you? This does need some vinyl. I could totally put like something on the door here. That'd be super cute or something here. But yeah, Diana, we can see your comment. So if you can hear me, we can see your comment. So you're you're somewhere in the right place. I don't know. So super, super, super cute. Corinne says to reload a couple of times. She said she had to do that with the video as well. So that's odd. I don't know why that is. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Okay, you guys, I want to show you the thing that I thought was probably the best value of anything I bought in the dollar spot. These little easels were a four pack for $5. And I've already taken two out to decorate around my house. I've put nothing on them yet because I'm that girl. Um, but I took them out because I thought they were super cute. But I got four of these mini easels for $5. Like what a freaking deal is that? That's amazing. And they go out like this. They have like a little string. So obviously like they're cheap easels, um, but like it totally works. How cool is that? So I'm super excited for these because you could do vinyl, um, I don't know. I, I, it's just a regular chalkboard. Um, I don't know how well it would work with chalk, but you could totally chalk paint on it. You could use regular chalk. Um, if you wanted to use a chalk marker, you could do that too, except that you won't be able to erase it. So keep that in mind. If you use that, typically chalk markers are permanent, but I definitely want to put some vinyl on this. Um, I am throwing you guys. I'm so excited. I'm helping some friends of mine host a pumpkin themed baby shower in like the first weekend of November. And I'm so pumped because guess what I'm going to help decorate with this stuff. Um, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that was a theme when I bought this stuff. So I'm super, super excited to use these, but I got four easels for $5. That's amazing. So if you are watching this and you are a bride, totally go grab these up for your wedding too, because these are so, so cheap and so fun. Yes, Tammy. <coughs> Excuse me while I joke. <coughs> <laughs> yes, Tammy, like when she told me that's the theme she wanted, I was like, shut the front door. I pretty much have everything right in my house, like right now that I need for your shower. And that's amazing. Oh, and I'm drinking wine. So let me know if y'all are joining me on Team Wine. It's only Wednesday and it's already been a long week. So I am drinking, it's a semi-sweet red. And if you guys are Lou Villians, it is from Huber's Winery. Yay, Diana. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. I have lots more to show you. I'm just in between things. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm just telling you all about my wine drinking because it's only Wednesday, but that that's like wine Wednesday. That's a, that's a thing, right? Well, it is now because <laughs> I needed it. So if you guys are from Louisville, I went to Huber's. This is Starlight, Starlight, Stardust, Star something from Huber's. It's one of their more popular, like semi-sweet reds. So yay, go team. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys are with me. I know I am admitting to wine, but honestly, I am not starlight. See, Tammy, you just have my back. You and me are going to be best friends, Tammy. Tammy lives in Louisville also, so she is familiar. She says it's starlight. I knew it was star something. No wine here, Karim, but you wish. Work has been rough and local wine. Yes, I know. I'm with you. I'm with you. I love my job. Let me be clear. I love my job. I love my job. But that doesn't mean that days aren't hard sometimes. And sometimes life is just hard. And that's, I'm not going to go into that, but my personal life is a little rough at the moment. So wine helps, you know, and it's Wednesday and that starts with a W. So that's a good reason to drink. Okay. Anyways, back to Target. So I got these super cute little pumpkins and I realized I'd heard this, but I saw this a lot at Target that pops of teal are really, really popular for this fall. So especially like teal pumpkins, are they not so cute, Grin? And these were a dollar each. So I just got three of them. I feel like I could probably have gotten like the entire bin probably and still loved them, but I only got three to try not to be crazy excessive because I, they look super cute on my mantle. These have already been on my mantle all week. So I got like a dark orange. I got a teal. Tammy loves them too. 
Me too, sister. Me too. And a gray. So super cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. I was on Facebook today because, you know, that's my job. And I saw somebody in the Yaya's, or excuse me, it's Sass and Crafts now. Sassandcrafts.com. But previously, the Yaya's Glitter Group, Glitter A Pumpkin. And I am literally dead. Like it was so beautiful. Karen wants to know if we do the Teal Pumpkin Project in Louisville. Well, I don't know what that is. So maybe we do it, but I don't do it. But if it's a charity thing, let's find out about it because I'd love to do it. But anyways, guys, she, okay, this girl mixed a mixed chunky glitter into her epoxy, poured it over her pumpkin, and then it was a fake pumpkin, and then put a hole in the bottom and stuck it on her turner. And you guys literally like, I like fell out of my chair because it was so beautiful. So now I want to glitter a bunch of pumpkins. So we'll see what else I come up with this fall. Who knows, we might be glittering pumpkins, folks, because holy bejesus, it was beautiful. Now I feel like I need it. You guys ever on Facebook and you're like, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. Like I've got to start a list. I have about five things. Oh yes, allergy family treats. If you put out a teal pumpkin, it lets people know that you have allergy friendly treats at your house. You're right, I have heard of that. Oh, so people give out other things other than like candy or food in case kids have allergies. That is genius. And I don't know if you guys know that about me. I'm gluten-free, so I am like kind of a pain in the butt for people a lot. Um, I don't really worry about it. I really, everywhere I go, I do not expect anybody to remember that I'm gluten-free ever because it's not their responsibility to remember what I need to eat. I'm allergic. It does make me sick, so it's not just a choice. But that's a really good idea, Corinne. Dag on it. Maybe I'll do that this Halloween because that totally makes a lot of sense. And my husband is actually really allergic to tree nuts. So that's perfect. I like, I like where your brain is going. And we can do some teal pumpkins. And actually, you know what? Now that you say that, Corinne, um, a girl and I were talking at work and we were talking about how the teal pumpkin trend has caught on, which could be a good thing or could be a bad thing because people may put them on their porches and they may not have any allergy treats. Like kids might be like, oh my gosh, like look at all these places I can get candy. And then like, it's not, it's just like, oh no, that's just trendy in 2019. So that would be sad. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen too much. Hopefully people figure out what that's for. So here's another thing. I think it was a dollar. Yes, this is floral bur burlap ribbon. And I feel like I've probably seen something like this at the dollar store, but since it was a dollar, I went for it. And you guys, I'm super pumped. I have two garden flags that I need to screen print because you can screen print on burlap. Did you know that? Or did I just change your life? Because that seems amazing to me. HTV is such a pain in the ass to put on burlap. Let's be real. It's a pain. And so I'm totally going to screen print it and show you guys how to do it. I have one to practice and one to show you with. And I, I've thought about screen printing little pumpkins onto this guy. Wouldn't that be so cute? And then I could like wrap a basket in it. Like, whoa. Yep, Tammy says it's life-changing. I know, you can screen print on burlap. It makes so much sense. Um, because you can screen print in general on textured surfaces, which like is amazing. Like rib tank tops or, you know, like the waffled, I haven't tried that yet, but like the tops that people, like the pajama tops, um, the people wear that are like the waffle textured, you could screen print on it. So I have this idea in my head. And I haven't done it yet, but like, isn't that awesome? Ooh, Corinne says, what about a fleece blanket? I mean, I think so. You might get a little bit of blurring because I don't know how tight your screen would really like get down on that. But wouldn't that be so cool? That'd be super cool. So like my, my head is full of ideas, but I like don't have time to craft them all, which is sad because I do, I do like more crafts than most people. But like, yeah, that's a thing. All right, guys, sorry, ADD, moving on. So next, I got this super cute little wood planter basket and it's really small. <laughs> Chow says, did I fix my screen from last time? I haven't ordered a new one yet. So I should probably do that first, shouldn't I? <laughs> I broke my screen in the middle of um, filming a video, you guys. So I was impatient, I'll just be honest, I was impatient and my screen was wet and I was trying to go to the next like screen. And so I started drawing it with my heat gun, right? And I was like keeping a good distance because I realized my screen is fragile. And guess what? I got too close and put a hole in that sucker. But the good thing is that you can buy refills on Amazon and you can get like this little tool so that you don't smash your styrofoam that keeps it down in there. And I wanna do a video on how to replace your screen in the meantime. See, look at that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll take it from a mistake to something that turns into a video and I can teach you guys something because if you leave your ink on your screen too long, you can stain your screen. It's not a big deal if you stain your screen because as long as the ink goes through okay, you can still go with it. So it's not a big deal. But if you end up clogging your screen, like if you wait like an hour to wash your screen off, you can actually clog like the little pores in the silk and um, you do have to actually change it. So, but yeah, good call. Thanks for reminding me. So look how cute this little mini planter basket is. This little guy was $3, super, super cute. And I just love him. I think he's, he, I think he's great. I picture like a, um, like a, pot of mums inside so I'll probably have to line it with something but I'd like to plant some like colored mums in here so I think that would be cute last year I flipped it on its side and I stuck a pumpkin in like sitting on the bottom like this I and I propped it up on some hay bales and it was real cute so this year you guys I haven't done it yet because that there we are again I have ideas and haven't done them um oh you could fill them with apples that's a good idea Tammy yeah Huh, there's so many good ideas. Like the possibilities are kind of scary. Well, you know, and if you use fake apples or a few real ones, you could even stuff the bottom with foam and then just put like apples around the top. You know, just enough to make it look like it's full of apples when it's really not. So, and my porch is covered, so it might be okay to be out there and not be super heavy, like totally full of apples. I think that would be fine. So like possibilities are endless, you guys. They're endless. What was I saying? Oh, so on my porch, I'm doing crates this year. So you'll have to look back on one of my old Facebook feeds. I need to post that from last year. But I propped all like a bunch of pumpkins and flowers up on hay bales. That was my thing last year. And I think this year I'm going to use crates. Crates seem to be like really trendy and I'm really liking that. So I need to find some crates and get that done. So my next dollar spot thing was these little packs or these little bundles of eucalyptus. And I didn't get any other flowers. Oh, and spoiler alert, I didn't get any like big pumpkins at Target dollar spot. And the reason is because I'm trying to challenge myself to use what I already have. Oh, good call. Corinne says that Home Depot has crates. So I'll have to check that out. Um, but I was trying to challenge myself and do something different because pumpkins are easy. Pumpkins are like what people would expect you to decorate your house with. So I was trying to do fall things, but be different. So I got some eucalyptus because their other florals were kind of pricey for what they were, but it's really hard to find decent greenery at the dollar store. I don't know if anybody else has had that struggle, but I have just always had a hard time with that. So these were only a dollar a piece. Yeah, they say $1 there in the corner. And they're not very big, but I think that they're going to go well in some of the stuff that I want to do. So I picked up three of these little bunches of eucalyptus, and I just thought they would be good to have in my, you know, flower collection thing. It's growing pretty big. I need to do some more. See, I started to use some on this hoop right here, and I have two more hoops. Guess who hasn't done them? Me. Um, but, you know, <laughs> details. I know, Corinne, we seriously, we have the best Target and it's the one like right by work. So I get to swing by on my way home and it's really awesome. So another find that I thought was amazing, you guys, is this little tobacco basket thing. Is that what that's called? This calls it, it calls it a wood basket tray. But let's be honest, I'm pretty sure this is a tobacco basket. It's not very big, um, so it's not going to hold a ton, but I thought this would be really cute on like a side table full of some stuff. Some people mount them on their wall sideways. I don't know that I'm going to do that. Um, I would. I just kind of pictured it as something to go like as a centerpiece for my table or something like that, but this little guy was $3. Oh, Mama Disney said time to go to Target again. Yes, yes. Well, and I don't know how often they change things throughout the fall season. So, um, yeah. Ooh, Tammy says, Tammy, you are like full of ideas, girl. I'm loving this. She said it'd be cute for a door decoration. What if I did like a non-traditional wreath? Like I just put stuff, like I just like stuck my flowers in like this and like hot glued them and stuff and then did a door decoration. Genius. See, you guys, I'm going to be using this stuff all year long. I'm so excited. So I was definitely a fan of this, especially if you have like a bunch of like a rustic theme going on and you're really into that. I think that that is super cool. And this is a good little piece to have because these can be kind of pricey, especially the big ones. Um, obviously, this one's like not authentic because it's from the Target dollar spot. But thank you, Mama Disney says she loves that idea. See, Tammy, you're rocking it. I love it. 
So lots of cute baskets. I have like a basket thing. I don't know why I like baskets so much, but I am like slightly addicted. Okay, guys, we're getting towards the end, which means we're heading toward DIYs. So this one's gonna be fun. I had to keep these off to the side because I've already matched them up with paint colors, but you guys are gonna have to bear with me. You're gonna have to visualize with this one. I got a bunch of little wood ornaments. So they look, whoops, they look like this. They have colored sides and they're plain on the wood. And I got a bunch of them. They were a dollar a piece. So I got two leaves. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do in a second. A pumpkin, an acorn, and an apple. And what I plan to do, because these are ornaments and they have actual holes in them, is make like a, um, use twine and make these almost into a banner. So I'm gonna repaint these, including the sides, and hang them from some twine and make them into like a, a banner. So it's gonna have, hold on people, I'm getting a little mixed up here. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a leaf on either side. That's why I bought two of these being the same. And then in the center, I'll have the apple, the pumpkin, and the acorn. And I'm super excited to play with these. I'm thinking that actually might go to work with me and go in my cubicle. Spell fall on them. Yes, and I thought about doing that too. I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything on them because they are so different. I just like the shape that they are. But I did consider that too because there's, there's five letters. So I could leave one off and write fall or... Yeah, that's cute. I love banners. I think those are so fun. Oh, yes, on my mantle. That's true. Or like hanging in front of it. Because I do, we have a gas fireplace here at our new house. So I don't have to worry about things jumping out and like catching on fire. You bought those too. You're going to use some chalk paint and vinyl and HGV to decorate them. Yes. Okay. So you read my mind, Mama Disney. You read it because I've already picked out chalk paint colors for this. So I haven't used this much yet, but I bought chalked up paint from Auntie Tay when it first came out because I was super excited about the colors. And you guys, I'll be honest, I'm, I feel a little silly because I went to Walmart a few weeks ago and Walmart carries chalk paint. But it didn't, they didn't when I bought these back in the spring and didn't hardly use them. <laughs> so I bought a bunch of these colors. And I haven't used them yet. So I've already picked out colors for this. My color scheme is gonna be navy, mint, teal, I don't know if I can hold all this and mustard because I thought these would go really well together. So I'm super excited. I'm going to paint the acorn mustard. I'm going to paint the apple mint. I'm going to paint the pumpkin teal and I'm going to do navy on both of the leaves. And I think I'm going to leave the sides sparkly. So I'm super pumped to use these. I think that's going to make a really fun, really different kind of banner. Granted, it will be kind of heavy. So I will have to keep that in mind when hanging it but I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, and part of the reason I bought these, um, thank you, thank you, I love the colors too. So part of the reason I bought these, they had all of these shapes much larger, um, much larger, but they were $3 a piece and they were really big. And I didn't want something really huge because like I said, I just, I don't like to hang a ton on my walls and stuff like that. I'm kind of careful about the, the holes that I put in my walls and things like that. So I didn't want a bunch of big pieces that I wasn't going to be sure what to do with. So I thought immediately like, okay, so what can I do with these ornaments? Cause I don't like, to me, I just think of a Christmas tree and I'm like, well, I don't have a, a fall Christmas tree, but I thought a banner would be really fun. And I could even use burlap ribbon. I don't even necessarily have to use twine. Twine was just the first thing that came to my mind. So we'll see. I'm excited. Okay, you guys, we're down to our last three things, and then we're going to get into the crafts. So this is going to be fun. So this is one of the items we are crafting tonight. Whoops, hold on. We're tangled. How did you do that? Okay, so here's the first one. This one, I think, is a, this is supposed to be a trivet. So like for your table for hot pots and pans and stuff, but I just thought it was really fun and cute And I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with this in a few minutes We're gonna do this one uh, before we get off our live tonight, but I thought this was cute It was three dollars, but it's a pretty large pumpkin. So I think that's gonna be a fun little DIY We are not DIYing this one, but I still really liked it. I thought it was fun. Why does this have two tags? Oh, because it tells you what it is. Okay, so then I got this fun little arrow blank. I thought this was cool. Oh, your target only had the gourd. Yeah, they had the the gourd um, trivet at mine too. But you guys, okay, 
this is probably just me because I'm a little weird, but sometimes gourds look like kind of a funny shape when they don't, like when they're not properly colored and they're not clearly a gourd. So I don't know if you guys see some potential misunderstanding in that shape like I do, but I'm very careful about the times that I use gourds, especially like wooden ones where they could be a little funky. So I don't know, I could be weird. Let me know, do you do you get a little nervous about that? <laughs> Tammy gets it. She's laughing with a crying face. I just get stressed, okay? I look at that and I'm like, are people gonna know what that is? Cause if their mind is in the gutter, they might not. Mom and Disney agrees. Okay, well good. I'm glad I'm not the only weirdo. Like I'm not trying to be weird, but I just look at it and I'm like, Ugh, I don't know, this could go south. So I stick with pumpkins for the most part. So I bought this little arrow blank. He was $3 and I really want, okay, this is really basic, so don't laugh at me, but I want like a pumpkin patch arrow sign thing. So I found a vintage sign on design bundles that I'm going to do to this eventually. I haven't done it yet, so we're not going to do this one on live tonight, but I just thought it was a fun, unique wood shape. And for $3, that's a really good price for a blank like this. Because keep that in mind too, sometimes when you go to the dollar spot, some of this stuff is not that great of a deal. So just pay attention to what you're picking up because you could also sometimes get the same stuff at Michael's cheaper. So pay attention. And last but not least, is this other little lovely wood blank. I thought this guy was fun because he already has a frame. I thought that was super cool. And we're gonna DIY this one. I'm super excited about my idea for this, okay? I'm super pumped. So we're DIYing this and the pumpkin trivet before we get off here tonight. I'm super excited to show you guys um, what we're gonna do there. So let me know in the comments what your favorites were from this haul. Is there anything that you're inspired to go look for now? Is there anything that maybe you didn't like and you're like, ew, gross. Um, or what was the best value? What did you see that I bought that you were like, oh my gosh, like that should have costed way more. So let me know. Yes, my Target really does have awesome blanks. It's the one, it's over in Louisville next to the 651 Vinyl Warehouse. Um, it was it's super easy to get to um, because we're not, where I live, we're not super close to a Target. So usually I have to go on my way home if I'm gonna go. And so, yeah, super fun. So while we're chatting, I have one more thing to cut um, before we get started on our DIY because I did not bring the correct, um, sometimes I make cuts while I'm sitting at my desk. You're gonna have to stop there when you get an LED bag. Yes, the LED bags are so much fun, you guys. If you have not gotten an LED bag, we're seriously like we might run out soon. The rate that they sold, I haven't checked in a couple of days, but we were gonna run out and we ordered like tons of them. Um, and we're hoping to, we are trying to place another order to attempt to get it by Halloween, but we cannot promise. So if you have not gotten an LED bag and you want one, I'm not trying to pressure you, but if you don't hurry, you may not get one. So yeah, order one really, really soon. Um, but I cut some, sometimes I sit at my desk, I design at home and then I cut things while I'm sitting at work. Yeah, you got to get your, your order in. Yes, it really is that. And I don't, like, I never want to pressure you guys into buying something or, like, making you feel like my marketing's too strong. But seriously, like, we're projecting, like, potentially in the next week to be out of them if they keep selling at the same rate. And I think what's happening is people are seeing them and they are noticing or they're, like, buying a bunch for their business. I don't think they're, they're just buying one or two like they typically would. I think they're buying 10, 15, 20 at a time knowing they're gonna sell really well and that's why we're running out so fast. And we tried to order a bunch for you guys so that this didn't happen, but because this idea is amazing, it still did. So grab one of those if you haven't yet. I'm gonna cut something on my maker. It's a surprise, I can't show you yet, but you guys are gonna be psyched. I just have to cut this one little piece and then we're ready to roll. I'm super excited. I guess I should probably stop saying super excited. Sorry, bad habit. <laughs> I'm live for the second time today. I, um, let me know if you guys joined us on the live earlier. Heather and I went to Starbucks to show you like 12 new garden flags, which is crazy. Maybe 11, 12. Um, Super, super crazy, fun new designs. But we went to Starbucks to do that. So this is like two a days. How crazy is that? And I get to use my new maker. So on the side note, sorry if it's a little lap. This is just one little tiny piece and then we're rolling. 
We're really, really close. So let me know what you guys think about the best value and your favorite items from that haul because that's awesome. I am loving the maker so far, Michelle. It is definitely fun. And I think part of it is because I waited so long. I was so excited to get it. You know, um, I've like never been able to use it before. So, well, other than I did borrow toys once or twice, but you know what I mean? Like the anticipation made it so exciting. I think if I had started with a maker, I'd be like, oh, you know, it's great. You cut jib poured today and didn't realize the blade had to be regulated. Yes, chipboard is definitely tricky. It's awesome, but it is definitely tricky. And it also takes a while. If you guys have never cut chipboard before, that's the project I did on Troy's Maker. And um, it ended up being like 15 to 20 passes. It was crazy. Um, so I thought that was kind of wild. It takes forever. And you can end up accidentally cutting through your mat if you don't watch it because the, the cricket will keep cutting the number of passes it thinks it's supposed to cut, which is crazy. Okay, guys, I'm looking for the vinyl setting. Is there not? Okay, here's plain vinyl. There we go. Done. All these projects involve adhesive vinyl, which is exciting. So while this is cutting, I'm gonna go grab a couple of supplies in my craft room and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just a brief little pause to grab some supplies. I think I have everything else I need. Awesome. I did not measure my vinyl. Did I make it? Oh, you guys, I just barely made this cut. Look at it. Okay, I'm gonna spoil it. It's a sunflower. Look at that. I'm literally like centimeters from the bottom. So good one, good one. I was close. All right, so that's all the cutting I have to do. I've cut everything else, which is exciting because I think you guys are gonna like it. I think you're gonna like what I'm what I'm going for here. So the first thing that we are going to do is paint the pumpkin because the pumpkin is going to have to dry for a couple minutes. So we're gonna do him first, let him dry while we're working on the other piece. We're actually gonna kind of switch back and forth between the two so each can dry. So you guys, sadly, I'm cutting off the string which is not a big deal because if I want more, I'll just add some jute string back and I can hang them up, but I'll probably lean them up somewhere. So I'll tell you my plan now, now that it's not a secret. So I'm going to paint my pumpkin orange and I was originally planning on just putting a vinyl jack-o'-lantern face on it, right? I was like, yeah, like that'll be cute. But guess what, you guys? I was like, that is really boring, Alex. You can totally do better. So instead of painting a jack-o'-lantern face, I'm going to fill in a stencil with Mod Podge and I'm gonna glitter a jack-o'-lantern face because that's way more fun. And I'm really digging like the navy and the teal um, color scheme right now for fall. So this is what we're going with and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna paint it orange, let it dry, and then I will stin and then I will use the, um, yeah, the bling. That's right, Mama Disney, she knows. Um, then we're gonna use the bling to make the face instead of just plain old stinky vinyl. Not that vinyl isn't great, because I love vinyl, but I thought, mm, no, we can do better. 
sometimes in the DIY space, guys, we're so boring. Like we just don't, we just do like the same old, same old. And I was like, no, Alex, come on now. You can do better than that. I like to try to push my creative limits. Also guys, I realized why do I have paintbrushes that look like I'm in elementary school? Like it'd be cool if since I'm a crafter, I could just buy some decent paintbrushes, but no, I'd rather buy the cheap $5 pack from Michaels instead. Anyone else? Or your, your paintbrush collection like ghetto like mine? It's just goofy. Like they're not even expensive. I don't know why I did that. So I'm just going to, I'll lean you guys down in just a second so you can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is just putting paint straight onto my pumpkin. Cause I'm gonna use the same like um, piece of leftover parchment paper. Your paintbrushes look like mine. I know, and you know what? They're probably all the same pack from Michaels, honestly. Like they're probably all the same exact ones. So I'll get you guys closer when we're actually doing like something complicated, but for now we're just painting and you can see that. So I'm just gonna spread my paint around here. And even if you can see the wood through it a little bit, I'm not gonna worry about doing multiple coats. I'm not worried about that. We're just gonna do like a fun little quick DIY. I am like a chronic type A perfectionist. And so I try really hard to let crafting be the outlet where I'm okay with messy because I think it's a really good life lesson to be okay with messy. Like, especially as I've gotten older, I've realized that basically life is pretty much always messy. It's really never a straight shot. It's never cleaned up and pretty. It's always messy. So in like a artsy fartsy sense, I try to let myself be messy with my crafts because I think that that is a little more honest about life. And that's why I try to be honest with you guys about life, like when I'm having a bad week, because I think it's really easy to get on the internet and tell everybody that your life is great. I can have a beautiful Instagram feed and a beautiful Facebook feed and tell you guys that I nail every project, but I don't because that isn't life. So I'll hop off my soapbox there. But um, yeah, that's my philosophy with crafts. I started out as a really, a really type A crafter and I would drive myself crazy trying to get everything just perfect. You know, trying to clean out my weeding ring all the way. You've never been close to a perfectionist and still, until you started crafting. That's interesting, Diana, that you went the other way. And I don't think it's bad to be a perfectionist in some ways because in some ways it's important. There's some stuff that you can't not be a perfectionist about. Like if you sell things to people, be a perfectionist because that's what they're looking for. You know, for the most part, people are, do, people are buying your crafts because they can't make them themselves. If they can make it themselves, they would. So, you know, you don't want to like let them down in quality wise, but you know, for things like, like this, just for me and my house, like, no, I'm just going to have fun, make it simple and easy and use it as a creative outlet instead of getting like all feisty about it. when Things aren't perfect because that's no fun. And sometimes that takes away the fun. I don't know if any other type A'ers out there are like that, but sometimes things are so painstaking that it's just, it just makes things kind of miserable. So, and this paint may not even be all the way dry. I'm kind of thinking that by the time we come back to it, it may be a little bit sticky, but then it will create a really neat, like, um, distressed effect, which I think will be, like, really beautiful when we peel off the transfer tape from the stencil. So, we'll live with it. Or I can always go and touch it up. Yep, Mama, Mama Disney crafts for fun, not work. I agree. I started out... <clears throat> depending on how long you guys have been following me, you know that before I worked at 651 and the first like six months that I did, um, the first six months that I worked there, I sold items to people. So I've been in that space and I understand it and I think it's great, but it became honestly in my life, it became overwhelming. And I don't mean to complain because I, I seriously, I had the best job ever and I love it so much. But what was happening was I was crafting all day and then I was going home and crafting all night and I just got to the point where I was burnt out like I was up really late doing orders and stuff and so January 1st I I did not I kind of closed my Christmas orders and never really opened them back up again because I just needed a different outlet and Troy encouraged me to try YouTube and teaching people and tutorials and stuff and I thought you know I'm gonna try my hand at this 
I'm going to see what this is like and see if people like it and if I like it. And guys, I seriously, I love it. I love to teach people things. And I hope, <laughs> I hope that you guys think that I'm a good teacher. I think that that is definitely something that the Lord has blessed me with. And so I want to spread that gift to you. And I love creativity. I love seeing the things that you guys create. So it's always so fun and inspiring to ask you what you're working on and for you to show me. So I just think that this has ended up being the perfect outlet. And I absolutely love it. But yeah, I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be going live more often. I think that that's just a really fun way to connect with you guys. Um, recorded videos are great. Um, and they are definitely quicker and more efficient. But that is not the only way to learn. So I want to do more lives with you guys. They're, the recorded videos aren't going away. There's just going to be less of them. Plus, it's a little more professional when I do recorded videos. You know, here I can talk to you guys. I can tell you what's going on. In recorded videos, I get straight down to business. And the reason I do that is because those are the kind of videos that I like to watch. When I am on a mission to learn how to do something, I don't care what else is going on. So that's all I want to learn. And so I try to create my videos the same way. But if you guys enjoy live videos and you enjoy chatting and hanging out, then this is the perfect venue for you. And if you don't, that's okay too. But that way, you're, uh, you guys just know what's going on. So I'm working on plans for my Christmas craft series. That's going to be super cool. I'm still trying to put some stuff together for that. Um, we are working on, I am working on with a friend of mine, an epoxy cup series. So that's going to be really cool. Those will be recorded videos coming out soon. I don't want to give you the details yet because I don't exactly know what they are, but it's coming and I'm super pumped. All right, friends. So here is our pumpkin. This is where we're starting out, um, but this is not where we are going to finish up. So I'm going to put this aside and let this pumpkin begin to dry a little bit. I have some parchment paper under here, spare from my heat press. And we are gonna start on our other project before we get into glitter. Glitter will be last. So you guys, I am like, I came up with this another way that I was trying to be unique. And I think that it is really super fun. So you guys will have to let me know if you agree or if you're like, Alex, that's lame. Maybe it is, but I like it. So I'm going to do it. So I have this cute little sign, right? And the obvious thing to do would be to just put vinyl on it and move along, right? That would be the obvious thing to do, but we're not going to do the obvious thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stencil the word home across this, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to lay my letters out in vinyl on my board and I'm going to paint the background and then paint the, and then peel the letters off. So we're going to be kind of reverse stenciling on that. Oh, Mama Disney, you haven't tried cups yet. Ooh, girl. Well, we are going to show you the whole thing start to finish. The reason it took me so long to get to epoxy cups, you guys have been asking for it for forever. I wanted to give you a full comprehensive look at how to do tumblers. And a friend of mine sells tumblers and is much more knowledgeable than me. So we are teaming up to and collaborating to bring you this series. And I think you guys are going to learn so much. We are doing step by step. It's going to be like five or six different videos um, to teach you the basics. Oh, Tammy sent hydro dipped cups. That's fun. And it's not going to show you every method out there because there's so much that I cannot show you everything in one series. Um, I can make some additional videos, but we're going to show you like five or six steps to do the entire process. So every video will be very specific, very down to the point. And I think it's really going to help you guys because there's so much on the internet out there but honestly, most of the videos are not very high quality. Some of them are, some of them are fine, but a lot of them are like somebody in their garage and you're kind of seeing the cup from the side and it's not a very good view. And there's, you know, the audio might not be that great so you can barely hear. So I just wanted to bring you guys a more professionally produced series that I thought would help you because I want you guys to understand the ins and outs before you go for it. You know, I want you guys to be able to see like, I want you guys to see the whole picture because I think that's really missing in the YouTube space right now. So I think it's going to be really cool. I'm really looking forward to it. We are filming it the last weekend of September. So we're not filming it for a little while, 
but I think that you're gonna like it. Tammy likes epoxy for dummies. Oh, cool, I don't know any other series, but that's a great tip, Tammy, thanks. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna prop you guys up a little bit because your angle is kind of weird. So let me, give me a second. I'll like, prop y'all up there so you have a better view of this sign. I'm gonna scooch it closer. Ah! <laughs> My tripod's going a little crazy here, folks, but I gotta get a different tabletop tripod. So I know that's a little backwards and kind of an odd angle, but let me know if you guys can see okay. Okay, let me grab my transfer tape and then we'll go ahead and apply this stencil. And of course, my transfer tape is like far away. Because it's only ever far away when you need it, right? Okay. Here's some things that I cut. Okay. So here's that. And here's that. All right. Good deal. So, the first thing that I'm going to do, I cut out the word home, and, and the O is going to be a sunflower in vinyl, so it's going to be super cute. So, the first thing that I did was cut out this word home, and obviously, I weeded it like I normally would, but we're going to basically reverse stencil it. So, if that doesn't make any sense to you, hang tight, because I'm about to show you. And I just knocked into you with my transfer tape, so I'm sorry. That doesn't make sense, just hang tight because I'm gonna show you. I think it's gonna be a really cool way to highlight this sign, make it look a little different. Oh, by the way, if you are buying LED bags, please, please, please use medium tack transfer tape because we have had people have issues using high tack, AKA, I am all about the teal. You're right, Tammy. I'm like teal crazy. I go through these phases and that's like all I want. Um, <clears throat> we have had some people try high contact, high, <laughs> high contact. Oh, <laughs> what is that? Um, high tack transfer tape like Cricut. And they have had trouble with residue being left over on their bags that they cannot get off. So please do me a favor and use this stuff. You can find it under the transfer tape um, section of 651vinyl.com. Um, and it works like a charm. I used to be a team um, person that was obsessed with our blue grid medium tack. But I'll be honest, you guys, I bought that to screen print with. So I haven't been using it all that long, but it really is like way easier to use. Okay, pause. I gotta get a drink of water, y'all. Thirsty. Um, so I really do like this medium tack even better than I liked the other stuff. They're both medium tacks. And, um, you know, so that should be the same. But for whatever reason, this stuff seems to be a little less tacky. This is great. You got your first vinyl mix. Oh no, I didn't see the rest of your question. You just placed your order while you were gathering supplies. <laughs> I love that, Tammy. Yes, they really do have the best transfer tape. I love that. Whoever said they just placed their first order, that's awesome. Oh, you're welcome, Mama Disney. I know I don't, I hate that sometimes we, we aren't able to get information across to everybody. So I want you guys to hear it before you mess it up. I don't want you to buy stuff and mess it up. That's no fun. All right, so I did size this already. Um, so I'm just gonna try to center it the best that I can. Give a little bit of space on each side. Yeah, and if I didn't already say that, the reason there's a big hole in this is because the O is gonna be a sunflower made out of vinyl. It's really cute, you guys. You're gonna love it. All right. So, oh yeah, Tammy, that's why you said I'm so into teal. So I bought a bunch of this teal when we had one of the 12 by 12 sheet sales um, because I wanted to use it for stenciling. So I just picked teal because it's typically easy to see under my paint. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I picked teal because these letters aren't gonna stay. So the way that we're gonna do this, oh no, gotta stick to that. The wood's a little bit rough, so it can be kind of hard to get your vinyl to stick when it's like not sealed, of course, we're gonna be a little rebel. That's okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, and if you guys saw my other um, video where I made a paper sunflower, you know 
that I am also having, in addition to like a teal thing, I'm having like a little sunflower thing um, where I'm obsessed with sunflowers. So um, the sunflower is gonna be the O made out of vinyl. And look how cool this is. So I'm using yellow 651, but the center on my sunflower is gonna be pumpkin plaid. How cute is that? I don't know, Tammy. Are you talking about my, my squeegee? She says, Where my, where's my burnishing tool? Is this what you're talking about? Or like a brayer. A brayer would be useful in this situation. I don't have a brayer, but I should get one. So I'm just pushing this down with my fingers. No biggie. Um, and we are gonna do navy chalk paint because I think that's gonna really make this pop. And I need a paintbrush. I'm gonna use one like this. And I haven't even opened this. Oh, wait, yes, I have. I've opened this navy before. Just got this little seal guy on it. All right. So I'm going to paint over top. You love that plaid. It may be the one you ordered. Yes. Um, yeah. So I, ha I have the mint tool set is what I think was what Tammy is saying. Um, I have the mint tool set from 651 because I'm obsessed with things matching. And before my teal thing, I was having a mint thing. <laughs> so I've got all that stuff. Oh, good, Mama Disney. I'm so glad that you got pumpkin plaid. It is so fun. Well, I just thought it would make things a little bit different. Um, I Like I said, I was just, I was feeling an urge to be unique. Sometimes it's good to just slap a little vinyl on our project and call it a day. But I was like, you know what? I can do better, especially because I'm going to do it with you guys. And I want to give you some creative inspiration to do things differently. So I'm going to go around. I can see already I'm going to get paint on these edges, but that's okay. I'm going to go around the edges first, and I'm going to paint the entire background navy with chalk paint because I thought that would give some really good contrast to this wood, and I'm going to leave the frame as is. So then once I paint over top the letters, you're in California. You have to go to dinner. This was fun. Oh, well, thanks for joining me, Mama Disney. Thanks for hanging out. It was a lot of fun. Um, Once I paint the entire background navy, I'm going to peel these letters off so that what is left behind is um, the wood color underneath the letters. So it's kind of like a reverse stenciling in a way. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do something a little different. And it already has like the frame on this thing so it makes it super easy on me because I don't hardly have to do anything to it. It's not wanting to spread very well, but I think it's because this is kind of like that rustic piece. So it's not very like smooth. They didn't sand it very much because that's kind of the whole point. Um, but my paint is being a little bit of a rebel here. That's okay. We'll give it a rustic look. If it looks really bad when I'm done, I'll just sand it a little and make it, you know, rustic. That's the good thing about rustic being so popular right now is you can pretty much like mess anything up and be like, oh, it's rustic. <laughs> You can just make it up. Oh, it's rustic. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and then somebody will like go start copying you because they just think it's so amazing. I love rustic. Rustic makes my life easy. So I'm trying to go around the corners first because I don't want to get a ton of paint on the frame. A little bit of paint is okay, but I'm trying to keep trying to avoid that a little bit. There we go. We'll get up here a little bit better. This stuff really is pretty good paint. Auntie Tay really, really raved about it. Um, and I have not honestly compared it to others. So I can't say what it's like, but like compared to other brands, but I like working with it. It makes my life pretty easy, which I'm all about. Been trying to work on that. Work smarter, not harder, they say. That's what I'm trying to do. So since we have a pretty good seal over this, it should be okay. I probably could have like been all serious and like Mod Podge over top first or whatever, but I think the rustic thing is where we're headed. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Hopefully my lines will be clean and that's good enough for me. All right. What do y'all think of this color? Do you like it? You a fan? It has been so much fun figuring out how to decorate my walls of my new house. It has been such a fun little project over the last couple months. 
I've wanted to make so many like fall decor pieces and wall decor pieces I can keep up all the time. We have some fun like Louisville Derby stuff going up our stairs, which has been fun. We found these cool things. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I like the color too. Um, we found these little things at Bed Bath & Beyond. They're like these framed pieces of all of the Triple Crown winners throughout history. Like, how cool is that? So we bought a bunch of those. Or, well, we bought a couple of them. Some of the more recent Triple Crown winners um, to go up our stairs, which has been really cool. Because the person who lived here before us put a bunch of holes in the wall and they didn't live here very long. <laughs> so now there's a bunch of holes meant for frames going up the stairs that I did not pick out. So my challenge has been trying to cover those um, and like try to make the frames look good and be the right size. It's been a little bit of a challenge, but hey, I'm all for a creative challenge. So I'm trying to even out my brush strokes a little bit. There are some spots where the paint's looking a little uneven, but I kind of like the way that it turned out. I'm cool with it. Might do a little bit more up in this area because it's looking like it got a little bit less paint or maybe it's just drying, I don't know. The good thing about chalk paint is it dries fast. Why don't you just d dump the paint on there? Well, I just wanna make sure, Shelly's asking why I don't just dump the paint on there. That's a good question. Um, with stenciling, you don't wanna flood your paint too much because if you do, any areas where your vinyl is lifted and you don't realize it, you won't know and you'll get some bleeding. So I try to do less is more with my stenciling. This is kind of non-traditional stenciling, but good question. All right, friends, I think we're drying out and that's why it's starting to look a little bit. It's looking thick in other areas and thin in, in others. And I think that's because it's drying out. So we're in good shape. So for now, I'm gonna close up this bottle and set it aside. And the secret with stenciling, when to take off your stencil is when you are, you are a little bit dry. You don't wanna wait till it's all the way dry. You don't wanna wait until, you don't wanna do it when it's super wet. You wanna do something in between. I'm just fanning it with my hand. That's what that crazy motion is. Um, you wanna do it when it's like half dry. That seems to be the sweet spot. And I'm gonna use my pin pen because I don't want to um, mess up the area around the letters. So I'm gonna go like almost inside my letter a little bit to lift up my H. Here we go. Once you get it started, you just grab it with your fingers. Yeah, I got a little bit of a bleed under there in some area with my H because my vinyl was wrinkled. But so far, I think it turned out exactly how it looked in my head. And I will call that a win. I don't know if you guys do that, but I have this idea of what it's gonna look like. And when it doesn't, sometimes it's okay and it's a good thing. But I like when it turns out how I thought. All right. There we go. Yeah, we've got like a little bit of a bleed around here, but you guys, like I'm, I'm digging this. This is fun. I'll turn it around and show you guys what it looks like. And I have paint all over my fingers, so ignore that. <clears throat> so that's the H. The O is still gonna be the sunflower when it's done drying, and the M and the E. So I'm gonna put the sunflower right there, and I think it's gonna be super cute. I'm a big fan of how this turned out. So while this is drying, we are going to work on the glitter pumpkin face. See you guys, I thought this all the way through. <laughs> We craft while the other item is drying. So it's just perfect. Okay, I'm gonna keep the parchment paper underneath my pumpkin because we are working with glitter. All right. So how dry are you? Dry enough, folks, dry enough. We're gonna do it anyways. So here is my jack-o'-lantern face. Whoops. Here is my jack-o'-lantern face. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. I try to think things through for you guys. Um, here's my jack-o'-lantern face that we are going to put on this cute little pumpkin. I measured him last night and sized him correctly. Where the heck's my transfer tape? Oh, okay. So, we're going to use this as a glitter stencil. I don't know if that's like a thing, but it is now. 
So the one thing I've noticed that I think probably drives a lot of you guys crazy, because <laughs> it drives me a little crazy, is I'm gonna cut all of this transfer tape off so that I have a straight line, because I like, I have to have a straight line across my transfer tape roll, but I have to waste all this transfer tape, which is a little sad. So let me know how you guys save yours, because I don't want a bunch of like random pieces that are not straight to go across my roll. Maybe I'm just a little too OCD. <laughs> use my squeegee this time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I will use my squeegee to burnish. So we're just gonna throw that away. Break my little heart. All right. So I'm just going to lay this down. <laughs> She's laughing at me. Thanks, mom. That's what you guys know, Heather Yoakum, that I go live with sometimes. She like tells me stuff and I'm like, thanks mom. You stick the leftover to your desk and use it later. I should do that, Shelly. You're right. I gotta figure out something to make sure that I don't waste because I don't like that. I'm okay with like a little bit. Like I don't save every square inch of vinyl. I am not that person, but I don't, I mean, I don't enjoy waste. So this is gonna be a little challenging to make sure that it's centered, but I'm gonna try to line things up with the stem up here and like the bottom bump of my pumpkin. I'm gonna try to line it up pretty well. It uh, doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I'm gonna try for neatness. You stick the empty transfer tape to a tape roll. That's a great idea, Amanda, thank you. I just need to, I just need to get my life together, folks. Also, I'm really short. Um, yeah, that's true, because I am a 651 daily. <laughs> um, oh, fold in half. Tammy, you are just full of genius ideas. You're saying fold the stencil in half so I know where the middle is. That's amazing. That's true, Shelly. I'm a 651 a whole lot. So if I waste some vinyl, I know where I can get more. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, I got a little navy, <laughs> got a little navy paint on this, but hopefully <laughs> it won't transfer to my stencil. I need you in my craft room more often, Tammy. We need to get together and craft. So since Tammy's genius idea was to fold this in half, I have a little bit of a perforated line and I can line it up with the hole where my string used to be. Oh, and also I thought about filling that hole with wood filler. I don't know how hard that is to do, but I was thinking maybe that would make my life easier. Okay, now in this case, I'm not gonna burnish with my squeegee because I don't wanna rub it in too hard because if I do that, I will have a really hard time peeling this off without ripping like a bunch of the paint off because 651 is so strong. So I'm on purpose this time, Tammy, just going to burnish with my fingers. I have learned that does make my life a little bit easier. So then, and really I'm just worried about closing these lines. I don't, and I don't necessarily need to like adhere the whole stencil because I'm just painting a little bit of Mod Podge. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, see, makes sense, right? Okay. I'm just gonna peel this off. Unsealed wood is a pain, you guys. It doesn't like to stay. Like, I don't wanna seal it too much so that it doesn't rip all my paint off. Then when I don't seal it, okay, I'm giving in. I'm using my squeegee. Cause then it's gonna be like really hard to peel off this transfer tape. And I don't want that either. So we may have to repaint around pumpkin when we're done, but we'll find out, won't we? Okay. So, going like this. Yep, much better, much better plan. And you guys probably can't tell, but it's still sticking up a little tiny bit. So I'm at least gonna rub the edges in with my fingers. It's okay if I get wrinkles in this guy because I'm just worried about doing these areas. Let me get the, little, get the little teeth and the eyes. Okay, so then I'm going to paint Mod Podge in these areas, and then I'm gonna glitter this sucker. You guys, this is exciting. I'm gonna get glitter everywhere, which is my favorite thing to do. I'm a glitter fan, are you guys glitter fans? And now that I buy glitter for cups a lot, I try to think of other things I can do with glitter to keep things exciting. I wonder, 
No, Mod Podge doesn't dry super fast. I'll go ahead and paint the whole thing maybe. Use your foam brush. Well, I don't have a foam brush up here. I actually took them all into my garage and left them there from when I painted my toy holder a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna be a bad girl and use a regular brush. And we're gonna use this ghetto brush and it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna start with the largest area. I'm gonna put it on like fairly thick. Now, the only thing I have not thought about is if you guys, should I glitter with a stencil on or should I peel the stencil off before I lay the glitter on? I haven't gotten there yet. Yep, Amanda's a teen glitter. Me too, girl, me too. I love it. Um, do, what do you guys think? Should I put the paint on while the stencil is still on? Or should I paint the Mod Podge and then peel the stencil off? What do you think? Oh, pouncing is like dabbing. Yes, I have like a, a stippling or a stippling brush. I don't know how you say that. I do have one of those. But I accidentally, I took all of my foam brushes downstairs when I painted the toy holder because that's the video that I posted on Friday because I wasn't sure what I was going to need. And then I saw them in my garage the other day, left them there, and then forgot to grab it. Oh, shoot. Okay, wipe that Mod Podge off. Hope it doesn't stick there. So what do you guys think? Glitter with a stencil on. Okay, you got it. We're gonna do that. So I'm gonna put the Mod Podge on like decently thick um, just to make sure that we have good adhering. Oh, we got spare like glitter hairs in there or paintbrush hairs. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to work fairly fast because I don't want this Mod Podge to dry too, too much. Ooh, is anyone else um, planning on glittering some pumpkins this season? Because that's another reason why, like, after I saw that glitter pumpkin I, I told you guys about earlier, I thought it was going to be so amazing. And then I was like, um, I can add glitter to my wood pumpkin. Okay, Amanda says glitter with stencil on, too. So we're going to glitter with the stencil on. And we're going to find out if this works, friends, because I really don't know. <laughs> I came up with this idea, but I really don't know if how it's going to pan out. That's the fun of it. That's the thrill of crafting. <laughs> is it going to work? Is it not? Did I waste all my time? Half my time? Can I fix it? I feel like that's all I do is try to fix the crafts that I messed up. Wasn't thinking about it until you mentioned it. Yeah, I I think it's going to be fun. And uh, plus, I guess if you don't have a bunch of glitter, that might not be something you think about. But because I'm like addicted to buying glitter for tumblers, <laughs> I thought, ooh, I can do that. Plus, if y'all are not in some glitter groups, get in some glitter Facebook groups because y'all, it is fun. It's fun to see what people do. And these people are so much better than me at cups. I'm okay. I do all right. Um, I've made probably, I was counting the other day, like between like 25 and 30 probably different cups. Um, so I know a fair amount about it, but these people have been doing it for years and they are like amazing. So they are like so inspirational and in the things that they inspire you to do. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so Mod Podge is on there pretty darn thick. Let's play with glitter. What do you think, or what are you OMGing about, Tammy? Do you like it? Okay, here's my navy glitter. This is navy blue from Yaya's. It is a lot, I know. <laughs> I, I piled the Mod Podge on there, so we'll find out. This puppy may not dry for a while. Um, but so when I bought this, it was Yaya's, but now it's Sassin Crafts. Navy blue glitter. Oh, how many cups I've done. Yeah, I know that sounds like a lot, but really it's, it's not that many, not compared to other people. I've been doing them since like last fall and, um... Yeah, I've made them for like gifts. My friend Tracy had triplets, which is so cute. She is such a sweet little mama. And for her husband's first Father's Day and for her dad, I did a set of four cups for her and they turned out really pretty. But some of these people have been like doing it. Yes, it is a super fine glitter. Yeah, I love it. Um, some of these people have been doing cups like they school me, seriously. You're scared to try your first cup, Shelly? It's okay. I think the key, and also I'm just going to dump this sucker on here. So for those of you who save a lot of glitter, sorry, don't hate me. <laughs> you wanted to try cups, but it costs so much for the supplies. That is so true, Amanda. It definitely, I will not lie to you and say that it definitely is an investment. I cannot 
I cannot be dishonest there. It totally is. Um, I think that if you think you're going to like it and you've been crafting for a while, you will know if you're going to be interested in it or not. Because if you're not, you're not. You've got cups and glitter. I didn't see all that, Shelly. Sounds like you have all the supplies, but you haven't done it yet. So yeah, in case you guys didn't hear me, um, I am going to do, I'm doing a cup series for you here very soon. It's gonna be out mostly during October. Um, a friend of mine and I are collaborating on it because she has been doing cups a lot longer than I have. So we are going to put our heads together and teach you guys the full process. We have planned like five or six videos already. Um, and we're going to shoot them like all in one day, which is going to be nuts. She's coming to my house the last Saturday of September and we are going to film it. And you guys, it is going to be the whole nine yards. Like we are doing a video on prep. We're doing a video on how to glitter. We're doing a video on how to ombre glitter. We're doing a video on the full process of epoxy. So that's the flood coat after the glitter, sand it, decal it, and epoxy it again for the final coat. And we're doing a video on how to clean cups up. A lot of people don't think about that when they're finished but epoxy gets in the rim and spray paint gets inside of it. And um, it gets really messy and yucky. And if I was a customer, I would not drink out of a cup that had a bunch of crap inside. <laughs> I could be crazy, but I'm like, ew, gross. So we're going to do a video on that too. And then of course I can always add to that later, but I really wanted to get a high quality produced cup series out to you guys and more wine. So, all right, guys, moment of truth. We're jumping this glitter. Let me tilt it up a little bit. I'm dumping this glitter. I'm going to find out if my idea worked. Ready? I'll, I'll tilt it towards you so you see all the glitter fall. Ready, set. I need to dump it onto a paper plate. Oh, you're right, Shelly. You caught me just in time. Okay, pause. Let me find something to dump all this in because I can't waste that much glitter. That just breaks my heart. Oh, I turned my little light on. Y'all, I'm a hot mess. Okay. Um, oh, I have some cardstock. That's what I'll do. I'll dump it on the paper. Okay. I'm dumping it on paper so that I can put it back in my bag. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Ready, set, go! Ah! Oops, I didn't do it, Tammy. She gone. That's okay. I'll get it back in there. Okay, cool. So let's peel off our stencil before our Mod Podge dries too much. I'm not going to put that back yet. You guys, I have this crazy fear. Hasn't happened yet. But I have this crazy fear that my cat is going to come in here and walk on my craft table and track glitter all over my house. Now, granted, <laughs> glitter's pretty much already already all over my house. Um, but I just really get scared that he's going to dip his little paws in it. And then I'm seriously screwed with cleaning it up. Hasn't happened yet, but he loves to let himself in my craft room. I actually have to lock him out. Um, we have the long door handles and he is a very long cat. So he literally reaches up and lets himself into my craft room. So when I'm working out or like filming a video, I have to lock him out. So my husband will come up and he'll be like, why is the door locked? And I'm like, oh, just needed some time without my cat. You think so, Shelly? It looks amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Almost there, almost there. Ugh. Oh, you guys, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna use my transfer tape to dab it all up and then I'll show you guys the final result. I had a little bit of a leak in my Mod Podge, but it didn't get any glitter on it, which is cool, because I'll just let it dry. All right. Okay, ready? Waxing my table. <laughs> okay. I'll put this. Watch this, you guys. Look how tricky this is. I'll stick this right here so any glitter that falls off will just fall on my sticky transfer tape. <laughs> he does have a drippy nose. He is a booger. That's okay. Um, well, there's a couple glitter pieces in it. 
So let me wipe it off. But look how cute that turned out. But you're right, look at him. <laughs> He's got a runny nose. He has allergies. I feel you, little jack-o'-lantern. I have allergies too. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread it out, actually, like with my finger. I think that'll be good enough. And I'll shake off more glitter when more Mod Podge is dry. I don't wanna shake it a ton because I don't want my glitter to fall off. But you guys, it turned out so cute. And it's like navy, so it's a little bit different. This would have been really pretty. If you guys shop with Sass and Crafts, um, I usually shop at Sass and Crafts and Yaya and Glitter by Mama Boss, by the way. Those are my two favorite places. Um, but the holographic gunmetal is seriously the most gorgeous glitter like I've ever seen in my life. And I wanted to do something different because I always go toward that. But look how fun he is. So I'm thinking about using some wood filler and filling in this hole. Let me know what you guys think about that. I may put another string through it and hang him back up, but I kind of might like him like kind of might like him just as like a piece to hang like up against my mantle or something. Yeah, isn't he so cute? Like he turned out so fun. And that's basically, I mean, I still use vinyl. Still so easy. Oh, put a bow in there. Yes, Shelly. Yes. Oh, you know what, guys? I already came up with a solution. I just forgot. I also thought that I might wrap it in, um, oh my God, words, like jute string or twine. I might just do that. So easy peasy. Um, I'll just wrap the whole stem so that it you can kind of differentiate it from the rest of the pumpkin. Duh, I'll do that. That way it stays a little bit like less girly because I'm with you, Shelly. I always do like really girly stuff. There's a little more glitter, but I'm not gonna save every piece because I'm not gonna go painstaking grab it all. But I'm glad that you guys encouraged me to save some. So yay, so cute. Okay, so on to our last craft, which is gonna be really easy now because we're almost done. And the chalk paint is totally dry. I can see it. I'm gonna go wash all my brushes off here in a few minutes. Stick them on my transfer tape so they don't get stuff everywhere. Okay, and the last thing I just need to do is put in my sunflower for home. And we are home free. <laughs> see what I did there? Okay. I have a really cheesy sense of humor, you guys. Oh, and also, if you guys ever get emails and you like think that the subject is funny, I, <laughs> I my stupid sense of humor comes out in your email subjects a lot. <laughs> I really like to give you guys funny subjects. So I'm just checking to make sure I didn't leave any vinyl pieces on the vinyl when I open this up. Um, sometimes they get stuck in there when the pieces are fine. I'm just going to grab these final pieces out here. Yeah, so that's all done. That looks super cute. I really like how this one kind of looks layered, but it's not. So it's got like, these petals look like they're the top layer and these are the back ones. Oh, thanks, Shelly. I'm glad you think, do I crack you up because my sense of humor is bad or because it's funny? Because <laughs> it could be either. Oh, the car videos. Oh, thanks. I love those things. They are my favorite things to do because honestly, we are a hot mess. But going back to the perfection thing I was talking about before, I think people think it's hilarious because they're a hot mess too. I think we're all just a bunch of hot messes. Guys, where the hell's my transfer tape? Oh, okay, there we go. Um, I think we're all basically just a bunch of hot messes. And that's pretty much the truth. All right, so I'm going to put my sunflower down on there and my center because I did not layer them together. I'll layer them one at a time. And then I'll cut a piece off and I'll take your all's advice and figure out a way to save it. Because why not hoard more supplies? Oh, thank you, Shelly. She likes how real I am. I try really, really hard because I'm going to be honest, you guys. It is really easy to come on the internet and tell you that everything is amazing. It's really easy to do that. And it's really tempting because that's what most people do. So, you know, I would love to get up here and be like, oh, you guys, like I have an unlimited craft supply budget and I get all my projects done and I make everything that I buy stuff for. But those would, every single one of those would be lies. Um, I'm a crafter just like you. People call me a celebrity sometimes. And you guys, honestly, it makes me a little nauseous. Um, I am not, <laughs> I am not a celebrity. I'm just a crafter with a camera. Um, just like the rest of you. I promise you that. All right, folks, I promise we're almost done. Thank you for hanging in with me for so long. It's been so much fun. All right, so here is my sunflower. I'm gonna try to line it up the best I can. 
but um and the part of the file is it overlaps and by the way if you want this file i will post it for you guys i got it on design bundles it's like a whole sunflower bundle it didn't come in the fall bundle but i really like it so i'm gonna push it down with my finger first and then i'm gonna go back and squeegee but again because the paint hasn't been like sitting here too long i don't want to push too hard I'm just rubbing over top of it just enough to get the vinyl to stick. <gasps> wow, oh my God, you guys, I ripped a little. Okay, we're sticking it back down and I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Ready, you didn't see that. Okay. I'll just be careful over that one petal. It must've not, I've gotten enough love here. Okay. There we go. See, real. <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. I feel like if you if you don't fix your mistakes, if you recut everything, then you are missing out on the thrill of life. Don't do that to yourself. Just have fun. That's what crafting's all about. Don't drive yourself crazy. It can be tempting, and I understand that. Because I am super type A. Just, just, that's just who I am. But I try really hard to be a real person. <laughs> and honest about my struggles because yeah so now we're gonna do the center and it's gonna be so freaking cute oh my god okay you guys I'm gonna be honest the reason that you didn't see a thing yeah see you can't even tell I ripped the petal but you can't tell um the reason that I came up with this Buffalo plaid center is because I looked to see if I had any chocolate brown vinyl last night and I didn't. <laughs> and I was like, nope, I don't have any chocolate brown, but you know what I do have? Pumpkin plaid. And really, what more do you need than pumpkin plaid anyway? Nothing, nothing. That'll complete your life. Just kidding, that's not true. You need Jesus. That's what completes your life. Um, but I just thought it would add some extra dimension, make it different because like sunflowers are a dime a dozen. Even though they're cool and trendy and I love that, you know, you gotta set yourself apart. Okay. Oh my lanta, this is so cute. Oh. Okay. Oh my God, I know, Shelly, I know. Oh my God, look how cute it is. Ah, I love it. This is exactly what I pictured in my head, you know, except for that, but that's okay. <laughs> I can always go back with some sandpaper and fix that. But you guys, I am obsessed. Look how cute it is. I can't wait to hang this up in my house. I'm so pumped. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you post those in the comments. I can't see you. Oh, where are you at, people? Oh, thank you, Tammy. I'm so happy. I just freaking love it. Okay, I'm gonna lean all against my maker. <laughs> Okay, we're getting crazy angles here. You guys, I had so much fun with you. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe below so that you never miss my craziness because you never know what I'm crafting next. Someone told me that I was a jack of all trades. and I think that's true. I think it's probably more ADD than anything. Um, but also I do like to learn. So I'm just being silly, but I like to learn new things. And that's why I try so many different things. I know you guys are the same way. You're so curious and you have so many ideas. And so I try to oblige you in all those ideas. So um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Here's the final products of the things that we crafted. And they are so fun. I just need to add twine to his little stem. But how cute are these? Oh, uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. So many of you, Shelly, Michelle, Tammy, thank you guys so much. Subscribe below if you haven't already. Comment and tell me what your favorite one was. Ooh. So uh, you're supposed to tell me your favorite item that I got from Target, but also which craft is your favorite? You can't have two favorites. You got to pick one. Tell me which one. Thank you guys so much. This is all the videos I'm going to do for this week. So I'm not going to have one on Friday because I have a family thing to go to. Um, but on Friday, I'm going to share some free files for some jack-o'-lantern faces. So make sure you go check me out on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash DIY Alex Vanover. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I'll see you next week. Bye.